Thomas Camper Sales. Uh, they're either the oldest or one of the oldest Airstream dealers in the country. We are currently near St. Louis in Wentzville, Missouri. I know we've mentioned a couple of service appointments that we have with our Airstream. We had some warranty work done on the trailer. Uh, it was a couple of easy things. It was a uh, couple of rivets that either I didn't have or we couldn't get to. We had one of our cabinets was straightened and they ended up reinforcing, uh, I guess, two of the cabinets. And then a couple of other, uh, I'd say, easier things. Something we had not paid attention to before we were in Kansas City was uh, some of the exterior bolts. And so I'm gonna show you this one here. So right up here, so that bolt, is on both of the arms here on the awning and the nut had actually come loose on the front one the first one that i showed you and we brought it in uh since we were coming in anyway we asked if they had a replacement nut for it and they did so they put the new nut on but they also did a little bit of uh, uh non-permanent loctite to keep it on there so maybe something to check as you're doing your walk arounds uh, prior to leaving is that those external bolts are, are taken care of. Something I almost forgot to talk about was our deadbolt and our, like, our dual latch system here. So on the deadbolt, we had a lot of play from front to back and now it basically doesn't move at all. They replaced the whole deadbolt system for us, and that comes from like the door closing while the deadbolt is open. We've talked about this before, uh, but this dual latch system was not uh, hitting the striker bolt here properly. So now we've basically raised the striker up just a little bit. Um, I still think there's Bosley. Apparently we're focusing on Bosley. Anyway, striker bolts here and they lifted that up. We'll still probably replace this with the no locks version at some point. Um, but anyway, they've, they've lifted this up. So now the whole door closes very easily and opens very easily. Outside of that, we haven't had any issues with electrical. We haven't had any issues with uh, seals or anything like that. Uh, so our warranty work was very minor uh, as we came in. Anyway. Uh, on to, let's go walk around some trailers and see what we can find. Bill Thomas does Airstream, they do Grand Design, they do Brinkley now. I'm trying to think of what else they do. Tab for like smaller trailers. And Lance. Um, I'm sure they, they have like a couple of other things, but generally for, um, for new, that's what they're, they're focused on. We ended up here because they happened to have what we wanted in 2023. And it was a challenging year to find what we wanted. I'm gonna walk in this Brinkley because I think they're cool. So there's a slide out on both sides, but it's a lot of space. And you got a couch and two armchairs and a table. He did tell us that they are um, changing the floor plan in here and they're making this um, like a desk and an optional office versus twin bunks. It's the bathroom. The bedroom has a king size bed. And they're prepped for a washer and dryer. Because we're here and they have one we can walk through. And neither one of us have been in one, so that I'm aware of. And I don't know, I feel like this would be neat to have this ottoman that you can kind of move around, but I wonder if it's something you'd constantly be shuff shuffling around and like be annoyed. But it seems like it would be neat to have. Just because we're here, we're going to walk through a grand design as well. See the similarities. <laughs> it feels eerily similar. The ceiling seems higher. Maybe it's not. So you've got just a table over here versus like the workspace. And then the mounted TV fireplace. Same size stove. I think it's the same Furion refrigerator freezer. It's just like off the ground. Yeah, there's 
dog storage. Bed. Oh. It's a, it's for the dogs. And this one, this is, must be a little shorter than the one we were just in because there's no bunk room. But it does have a master suite. So the toilet, and a shower. And then this opens into the bedroom. We were able to run down to the Gateway Arch which was really fun. We took the dogs with us because they're allowed to be out at the park there. Uh, so you can't take them inside, but you can go down and kind of walk around with them. We're nestled nicely in the heart of St. Louis where parking is abundant, but expensive. This is, we're on Lucas Street. There's a statue of Lewis and Clark down there. And I'll put up a photo of it. I also think we came on a pretty nice day for this because I think it's only 70 degrees out. So I think we got lucky and chose a good time to come down. So what was your favorite part? My favorite part was Nick went inside of the visitor center and I was hanging outside with the dogs. And I was putting something in my backpack and I looked up and there was a line of people to pet the dogs. Someone gave them dog treats. I like I felt like I should have been accepting tips for people petting the dogs. <laughs> but maybe that's a quick tip for everyone. When visiting a national park, bring your dogs and make money. <laughs>